Frankenstein. <laughs> you appear to have heard of him. I'm not surprised. I have all his books, his lectures to the Academy. I have decided to extend my leniency to its limits by only sentencing you to be committed to the state asylum for the criminally insane for a period of five years. The information I want is about Baron Frankenstein. I believe he was, shall we say, a resident here for some time. I knew you must have a workshop somewhere. I knew you couldn't give up your work completely. And you haven't. Have you? No, I haven't given up. I never shall. To Baron Frankenstein, creator of man. If a new version of his true self could be created, huh? In the normal way, by mating. You can't mean it. Well, what alternative would you suggest? But who is? Sarah. We've a lot of work ahead of us. I've been thinking about what went wrong. Too much reliance on surgery, too little on biochemistry. Now, Reinhardt is very interesting on that point. Oh, oh, here we are. You can read what he says. The creature's dead, destroyed. Hmm? Well, that's of no importance. Best thing that could have happened to him. He was of no use to us or to himself. But, next time. Next time. There never was a next time. I killed him. Not murdered, mind you. Killed him. When I became his assistant, I knew he couldn't give up his work completely. And, of course, he had. The thing he created was indeed a monster from hell. When he thought of mating it with Sarah to produce another being, I realized that Frankenstein was indeed as mad as his inmates. The only way to protect Sarah was to release the creature from the Baron's control. The creature ran wild. As did the inmates who destroyed it. I thought it was over. But it wasn't. When the Baron said there would be a next time, I lost control and seized a bottle that the monster had left behind. It's funny. Back then, I thought that killing a man would be hard. But but killing Baron Frankenstein was so easy. Escape was easy too. The director had been killed by the monster, who in turn had been killed by the lunatics. Couldn't they have killed Frankenstein as well? I found a spare horse in the asylum stables and rode all through the night straight on to the morning to Carlsbad. Sarah came with me, of course. We both knew we'd have to leave Germany for good. I had enough money in Carlsbad to get me to Hamburg and thence to America, where Sarah and I married and have lived ever since. I'm still a scientist and 
and I still want to create a new man. But I use different methods from Frankenstein. I use something called genetics. I had to change my name, of course. I'm not Helda anymore. I'm Lecter. Dr. Lecter. I even have a grandson now. What a little monster he is. <laughs>